Yes. Good morning, KB. How are you this fine Monday? I am fine as frog's hair and uh, glad to have an opportunity to talk with you. What's on your mind? Oh, a couple of things. First of all, I'm loving the sunshine. What a way to start a Monday. I'll take that. Second, I would really like to compliment KRMS and Lanai uh, for what they do in our community. Uh, I, I was in tears Saturday listening to people calling in to pay for these folks to stay for another week, uh, the folks who had got burned out in the fire, Janie C. and her family. Uh, KRMS stepped right up again, very much a part of our community. And thirdly, I would like to remind everybody that at 8.15 tomorrow morning at the uh, Morgan County Justice Center in Versailles, we are having a rally to ask for a change of venue and ask that there be no plea for Tony Piercy, who has been charged with manslaughter in the death of Brandon Ellingson. So we invite everybody to come on out and join us there. We'll have coffee and signs and make our, our feelings be heard yet again. Uh, now, change of venue, where would you like to see it end up? I don't know, KB. I've, I, I personally wanted a, a federal investigation, and it doesn't look like that's coming down the pike. But we have seen in th- this setting what happened with the original coroner's inquest. We can't have a replay of that. Um, and, and I'm just simply asking for a place where neither party has friends, family, co-workers, et cetera, and it be heard in a neutral setting. That's all I'm asking. Now, so, no, I don't have a place in mind, but... Wasn't, uh, wasn't Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley looking, uh, trying to get the Department of Justice involved in this? He was, and at one time Eric Holder did have it on his desk and was interested in it, but about that same time I think he was experiencing his own political difficulties and it was swept to the side. Hmm. But there there is just so much blatantly wrong here that I I can't see how it could possibly get a a fair trial Hmm. in this setting. Well, I, and, I just don't. And here, here's, here, here's what's a shame. <clears throat> you talk about this from the standpoint of, you know, mistakes were made, and, and, and everybody knows that. There's no doubting the fact that mistakes were made. Rather than trying to cover it up, rather than trying to sweep it under the rug, why don't you just come out and admit it and realize and understand that mistakes were made? And, and, and I don't think that's anybody else's fault, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say that the governor of Missouri is involved in this, or, or maybe he is to some degree, but certainly the upper echelon of the Missouri State Highway Patrol, which, you know, it, 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 if they're worried about having a um, a black mark on their record, I would say the black mark comes from doing exactly what's going on now and trying to sweep this under the rug and, and make it look like it's a lot less than it really is. And, and that's exactly the point. We're not asking that this that Officer Piercy be hanged in the square. What we're asking for is accountability and justice. A young man needlessly died through the actions or inactions of a trained officer. And we never heard this man say, gee, I'm not trained well enough to be out here. In fact, this man had aspirations of being the area supervisor. Does that sound like a man who felt he was inadequately trained, but then is going to use this as an excuse when things go wrong? From the moment that life jacket was placed on a handcuffed young man, Everything that followed thereafter is squarely on that officer and his department. Well, there are procedures. Okay, why are, we, why are we having officers, one in a boat? Now, if this young man was drunk or disorderly or under the influence of drugs, none of which any of the reports say that he was, what trained officer turns his back on this subject to operate a motor vehicle. I have family who is law enforcement. What 
trained officer turns his gun to a suspect. Everything that followed from the moment Brandon was handcuffed is on the highway depart- department of Tony Piercy and the highway patrol. And had they just stepped up and said, yes, this is a tragedy, we're suspending Officer Piercy pending investigation, and then brought about the appropriate changes at that time, people would have swelled with pride and congratulated everyone involved for that type of decision. But that's not what happened. We heard, we heard Kindle laughing about this young man's body being left overnight, the disrespect. We've heard on audio tapes and videotapes, we have seen this story of Piercy's actions change three times. Three times he's changed his story. These aren't things that we're making up. These are blatant. They're out there. And we want our judicial system to dispense accountability and justice. That's all we've ever asked for, and we continue to do that in a nonviolent form because we are right and just in what we're asking for, and the wrongs are that blatant, KB. Right. Well, tomorrow, and, and, and give, me, uh, give me all the particulars on that again tomorrow, if you would, please. We're meeting at 815 in Versailles at the Morgan County Justice Center. Um, It's on 211 East Newton Street in Versailles, Missouri. And I believe Leslie's going to be bringing a pump pot of coffee. Um, We started, when we first met with protests, uh, coffee and a cause. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're continuing with. We look to meet like-minded people in our community who want to stand up and say, this type of blatant wrongdoing and cover-up needs to stop. So we invite you to come on out, have a cup of coffee, hold a sign, and let your feelings be known. All right. Well, thank you for the phone call. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for your time, KB. You bet. You bet. 1035 is our time here.